Hyundai Creta is the oldest SUV in the segment, and Tata Helier is recently updated to a new look. Of course, they are of different segment, but they are priced superimposed at 21 lakh. So there is a probability of getting confused while making a buying decision when your budget is around 21 lakh on road. So our objective of this video is to compare Creta SX optional and Harrier Pure optional and take you to a clear conclusion. Creta SX optional in diesel manual cost around 17.6 lakh and Harrier Pure optional cost around 17.5 lakh X showroom. So which one will be better for you? Let's evaluate. Now let me take a second and remind you to subscribe this channel and like this video because I bring here interesting automobile content. Let's start from dimensions. Creta is 4300mm long, 1790mm wide and 1635mm tall. Whereas Tata Harrier is 4605mm long, 1922mm wide and 1718mm tall. So of course. Harrier is way bigger on paper and practically also. Not only size, Harrier offers better cabin space and bigger boot space also. But both SUVs has got 17 inch of alloy wheels and 50 liter fuel tank. Now come to design. It varies person to person. Harrier gets a muscular and sporty stance. It is big in size and bulky in shape. The modern elements like connected LED DRLs, connected tail lamps, door mascots puts Harrier in a premium segment. Though Creta is old enough, it has also got split headlamps, 17-inch diamond cut alloy wheels and LED tail lamps. It has got more angular panels and the identity element of Creta also can't be ignored. Both SUVs has got SUV elements like roof rails and claddings. Talking about cabin, Tata Harrier gets a multi-layer dashboard with a floating touchscreen. The glossy panel of AC control, fully digital driver's display, digital steering wheel with illuminated logo keeps Harrier off market. Inside Creta, you will feel the premiumness. Though it has a small touchscreen and dated MID, it is feature loaded and premium, thanks to these leather seats. The light theme interior and panoramic sunroofs make the cabin feel like roomy. Features Being a top and trim, Creta is fully loaded. Panoramic sunroof, ambient lights, connected car tag, remote engine start, electric seats, ventilated seats, leather seats, headrest cushion, all are offered. Harrier Pure Optional is also offered with all basic and necessary features. It comes with 10-inch touchscreen infotainment system, 10-inch fully digital driver's display, 6-speaker music system, 45W fast charger, electric foldable and adjustable ORVM, etc. Though Harrier missed out some premium features in this particular variant, but trust me, this package combines all necessary features. Talking about safety, both SUVs comes with good number of safety features, which includes 6 airbags, 3-point seat belts, isofix child seats, electric stability control, heel hold assist, tire pressure monitoring system, etc. Analyzing practically, Creta is 3-star rated, and Harrier, you know about it. Let's talk about powertrain. Creta comes with a 1.5 liter petrol and 1.5 liter diesel engine with both automatic and manual transmission. In petrol, Creta kicks 115 PS and 144 Newton meter of torque. And in diesel, the power output is 116 PS and 250 Newton meter. Harrier comes with a 2 liter diesel engine. This is the only engine offered in entire Harrier lineup. Of course, you will get manual and automatic transmission option in higher variants, but this pure optional variant comes with only manual transmission. Anyways, the power figure are way better than Creta. So let's conclude. Which one is better for which kind of audience? See, Creta offers a value for money package. It offers multiple engine and transmission option. Talking particular about diesel, it offers better fuel efficiency where Tata Harrier is a segment above. Though Pure Optional is an entry-level variant, it combines all the necessary features. But the main USP of Harrier is its engine. Over Creta, you will definitely feel a better bite while driving Harrier. So if you are an enthusiast and not interested in these fancy features, then you should definitely go for Harrier. 
and if you want a better value and a feature loaded premium cabin then you should go for Creta. Here you will get service advantage too. So that's all for this video. Hope this was helpful for you. Thanks for watching. Subscribe this channel and like this video for such more interesting and informative video.